Kami baru pada penumpang untuk selalu memberikan kursi prioritas kepada yang membutuhkan Seperti Lansia, Ibu Hamil, Ibu Dengan, Tadi dan Pencana Kisah di Islam is one of the favorite public transportation for people who live in Jabodetabek. Besides the issue of access, it is also cheaper and faster. So that's why a lot of people who use it are sometimes snatched and stampeded in the train. Among the current passengers, there are physically handicapped, pregnant women, elderly, and mother with infant. So commuter line is actually has provided pretty seats for them. Priority seats are reserved for those who are physically handicapped, elderly, pregnant women, and mother with infant. And it is located in the corner of each railway wagon. And there is a picture of physically handicapped, elderly, pregnant women, and mother with infant on the wall. And it usually has different color as other seats. If you often using commuter line for going to go to work, school, or go to somewhere, you will find sometimes people who shouldn't sitting on the pretty seats. And what do you think of that? Is there still awareness among people who using commuter line for giving pretty seats? What do you think of that? So on this occasion, we will talk about pretty seats for them, for people who need it. Why did they do that? It is commonly because they still have selfishness within themselves. They put themselves first before other passengers who have rights to sit on the priority seats. How did they do that? Mostly, they quickly take the seats before anyone else and sleep there, so nobody can take their seats. And by that, they are showing the ignorance to the other people. And of course, people will mad at you. The lack of decisive of the officer could also take part of this violation. They often lose to see and give warning to those people. And what are the effects? Those who need will not get their priority rights fulfilled. It is true that everyone deserves to get their own rights, since it is universal. But we and I think that those who need are more deserve to sit there, for it was provided for them and they have a solid reason to sit there. And also, other people will judge you as a bad person, have no morals and arrogant. I'm pretty sure you're not that kind of person, are you? Bertugas sering melihat pelanggaran gitu nggak pak? Iya sering melihat pelanggaran. Ada pelanggaran. Mungkin orangnya itu nggak tahu atau orang awam nggak lihat tempat duduk prioritasnya. Ada tulisannya gitu kan? Tempat duduk prioritasan atau orang tahu lah lebih mengerti. Dan terus kalau misalnya uh, bapak melihat pelanggaran itu terjadi, uh, aksi yang biasa bapak lakuin apa aja pak? Ya saya menegurnya suruh kita tempat duduknya ke ke yang umum aja gitu dipindahin. Hmm. Ada pengalaman orang yang ngotot-ngotot gitu nggak sih pak? Ya. Maksudnya sudah dijalur melawan kamu kalian itu yang ada. Ah itu perlu ada aksi aksi lagi nggak dari misalnya dari pemerintah untuk ngasih sosialisasi lagi tentang uh, kursi prioritas. Kalau di kalangan orang yang lebih bagus kasih lagi lebih banyak. Kalau kita 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 kalau sering kan kalau kerja emang selalu naik kereta. Oh, naik kereta. Hmm. Uh, kakak tahu nggak ada pelanggaran kayak uh, suka melanggar uh, duduk-duduk di posisi prioritas gitu? Uh, sering, 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 sering. 
pendapat kakak gimana sih soal pelanggaran orang yang melanggar sih gimana? Ya itu sih tergantung dari diri kita masing-masing ya. Tapi kalau misalnya kita selaku yang melihatnya tuh suka kesal sendiri. Kadang uh, kalau dikasih tahu untuk kayak ini prioritas duduknya malah ngototan dia atau kesalahan sama yeah. dia gitu. Jadi kayak suka kesal gitu. Uh-huh. Uh, kalau misalkan kakak ngelihat uh, orang yang melanggar nih, ada hmm. ada orang tua yang harusnya duduk. Apa yang bakal kakak lakuin? Uh, tegur. Uh, ya dengan cara baik-baik kayak ini ada yang lebih tua untuk yang lebih utamain dulu pak kayak gitu paling ngomongnya secara baik-baik sih kalau bisa ya kalau bisa nggak bisa ya kayaknya sih lebih ngomong lebih kasar sih lebih ngebentak gitu karena emang udah haknya seorang itunya bapak sering nggak sih uh, dapat juga si ribut dia ribut kenapa? ribut tuh artinya dia perempuan lah dia kan pakai tutup muka terus saya bilang mbak kalau berani buka tutup muka saya bilang baru sih lima hari yang lalu saya bilang saya yakin mbak masih muda cuman pada nanti besar mbak kan malu saya bilang saya mbak apa mbak perlu ketip saya lihat begitu kan saya mau sudah lanjut mbak mbak ini saya yakin bisa sampai 40 bilang paling 35-30 Tadi dia kan harus pakai petugas no, petugas apa? Walka tu kan kereta tu. Mas bilang saya, saya bukan yang mau duduk bilang. Cuma kasih naik dembak yang hamil. Kalau bawa umur saya dah tujuh puluh saya bilang. Saya insya Allah masih kuat lah sebelum itu kan. Nah, terus dikasih tahu sama mbak. Tolong no, mas bilang. Dia kan KTP dia berapa umur si mbak ini? Saya yakin ini masih muda. Malu dia akhirnya dia berdiri. Dia malah ngomel. Saya bilang kamu tak malu sama saya saya bilang. ngomel sama saya, kalau kamu gak senang lapor, oh bapak saya berarti, oh saya syukur bilang kalau bapak kamu berisi saya kata bapak bilang, saya kasih tahu bahwa kamu melanggar aturan sekarang gini, kalau kamu memang, apa istilahnya baik, buka, KTP kamu mana, saya gitu ini gak bisa, gak mau dia ngeliat dan saya suruh petugas, petugas walkat tuh, KTP nya gak mau juga dia, alasan ketinggalan gitu ya Akhirnya, Akhirnya dia berdiri, saya kasihkan yang orang hamil, saya kasihkan saya. Saya enggak apa-apa, saya masih kuat lah berdiri. Gitu. Akhirnya berdiri juga saya lah, dapat ada enam stasiun bersama penduduk. Nah, gitu, saya, saya mau ke Bogor waktu itu. Jadi, menurut Bapak, kalau hal-hal yang untuk mencegah seperti yang tadi terjadi lagi, itu kayak gitu? Solusinya, kalau saya ada maksudnya yang baik itu, petugas Walka itu ada satu orang, itu banyak mereka itu. Ya paling tidak kan itu kan bisa satu orang bisa dua itu untuk mungkin untuk ini kan kan ya, nggak ada petugas jadi orang tuh semaunya aja. Ini ada petugas di ya petugas lari itu ya. Itu. Kan dia kan bisa menghandle untuk dua tempat kan ke ujung ini ujung sini. Jadi orang nggak pusingnya ada saat ramai kayak gini nih kasihan. Terutama hari sore sore itu orang pulang kerja kan. Emang sih prioritasnya kan orang hamil kasihan kan. Saya rasa solusinya itu aja yang jaga malka kan tadi itu. Di malka itu ya tempatnya situ kan. Terutama para orang pulang kerja jam lima jam tiga empat lima sore itu. Masih pak. Ya, makasih. People response to this issue are generally the same. They are already aware. and express their concerned thoughts toward this matter. They feel uncomfortable and irritated towards the violator who who take the seats that they are not supposed to take. Some say they will warn the violators right away, but others are rather hesitant because the violators are the ones who are stubborn and who would react aggressively if, if they are warned. even in respectful manners. Also, people hope that the government or the PTKI or the officers on the trains would find ways and solutions to prevent this issue from happening again.
the misuse of pri priority seat is considered a big problem in a big city. It needs to be solved by any means necessary. PT Ketapi Indonesia has to organize the ways, organize the ideas so they can minimize or even solve the problem. The commuter line users need to be socialized more about priority seat, about what is priority seat for, about who has the right to sit there and who has no right to sit there. Placing one officer or more near the, near the seat on each couch may reduce the misuse of priority seat. Place them as a keeper or supervisor and the officer needs to act decisively against the violators. For example, uh, when the priority seat is occupied by a young man and there's a pregnant woman who didn't have a seat, so the officer needs to order the man to give up, her, to give up his seat for the pregnant woman. Perhaps in installing more priority seat can ease the government's effort to solve the problem. Uh, hopefully, the problem will be solved someday so the elderly, the pregnant women, and the people with disabilities can use commuter line with comfort. The priority seats of the camera line are supposed to reserve for those who are physically handicapped, elderly, pregnant women, and mother with infant. But unfortunately, the reality we saw today says otherwise. There are still a lot of violation and misuse to the priority seats. This lack of awareness of the priority seats on the camera line is very concerning. This has become one of the big issues in the big cities in Indonesia, especially Jakarta. This issue is caused by the selfishness and the lack of empathy from the commuter line user itself. But not only that, the officers that are not decisive and are not distinct to the rule are also the reason why these misapplications of the priority seats often happen. And as a result, the people who have tried to sit there are forced to stand until they arrive in their destination. We hope the government can put more concerns to socialize the importance of the priority seats. So, the commuter line user can be more aware and understand the function of the priority seats itself. And also, they can try to put the officers right next to the priority seats. I think that's all we can report about this issue. Again, unfortunately, this violation is still happening until today. And hopefully, it will end soon. We hope both the government and the commuter line user can take their own parts to solve this problem together. <laughs>